Coming up on episode 29 of The Frux Show, I review Bailey's Strawberries and Cream. Let's go for it. We unbox a huge amount of food. That is not a thing. And this is absolutely sick! Absolutely sick! Welcome to The Frux Show. Hello everyone, welcome to The Frux Show, episode 29. My name is MJ and as always, we will kick it off with the news. Just one bit of news this time, but it is a bit of a banger. Doritos are releasing a new flavour in the UK. It's Flame Grilled Steak. So this sounds really interesting. I believe, what, the barbecue rib flavour is, is still around. So uh, I think it's going to be vaguely similar to that. Uh, they're also replacing their larger bag, which is a 180 gram bag, with a 230 gram bag. Uh, this is because they've conducted some research and found that Doritos are typically consumed in large social situations, which is very interesting. The larger bags are going to re retail for £2.30. Uh, sorry, the larger bags are going to be two. Pa they're going to retail for £2.50. It's a 230 gram bag. Fine. Weights and prices get confusing. But yeah, Flame Grilled Steak, they're apparently available now, or from mid-January. This is mid-January, so they should be available right now. And I'm looking forward to trying them. We'll certainly do a review if we can find them soon. Okay, guys, first review of the episode is Bailey's Strawberries and Cream. It is a limited edition, but uh, hopefully you can still find this. Let me just check it is still in date, because I have had it for a while. Um, I can't see any dates on here, but it sort of feels like alcohol never really goes off. <sighs> Smells good. I'm not the biggest fan of drinking just Bailey straight, but um, fine. I'll pour some out for you so you can see the colour. Um, yeah, it's sort of exactly what you would think. Uh, it looks a lot like strawberry milkshake. Right, here we go. <laughs> no, obviously I'm going to move this bottle, but it is funny that I've put it down right here. Let's go for it. Yep. So Bailey's. I personally find that you can taste the alcohol in it quite a lot. That sort of... I mean, I would call it a burn at the back of the throat, but I am one of the people in the world with the lowest pain threshold. So yeah, you can definitely, I can definitely taste the alcohol in there and feel the burn. Actually, once it's gone down, it's, it's not probably not quite as strong as normal Bailey's. In terms of the flavour, that is just strawberry milkshake. Um, it tastes really nice. On the bottle, there's actually some suggestions for some cocktails, actually. You've got to see this. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So the top one, I think, has just got ice. This one's at Collard. I, I can't read what it says, but I will read it in a second. And then the bottom one is at... I can't even read what that says. So yeah, the top one is over crushed ice. The middle one, the Collard, is... Ooh, use coconut rum or vodka and blend with ice. That sounds bloody delicious. Uh, and the bottom one is strawberries and cream daiquiri. Uh, white rum, Bailey's, shake and serve or blend with ice. Yeah, I'd bloody love to do all of those. Um, maybe I will try and do some cocktails with it. But that is really tasty. I could not say anything other than it is just a very nice uh, strawberry milkshake flavour. Creamy, strawberry -y. Uh Sort of just tastes like, um, I guess, melted, cheap strawberry ice cream. You could also say that. Uh, it doesn't taste cheap though. It, it's a very nice product. Um, yeah, good, fine, four stars. I don't think I have ever had anything less to say about a product that is just great. It is exactly what you'd expect from it. Brilliant. That is so good. Oh god, that is so good. Absolutely sick. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's sick. Sick, sick, sick. That is sick. Absolutely sick. Oh my god, that is so good. Absolutely sick. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's sick. You sent me fucking crazy! <laughs> Stuart, edit that! So, this is the unboxing section of the show, and yes, I'm sorry, I've changed probably costume and lighting. 
indicating that I'm filming this on a different date. But we've got a huge parcel. This is from KGN, and it's huge. Now, KGN, they basically make uh, a load of sort of snacks. I think they're basically like snacks that are popular in India and whatnot. So it's like rusk cakes and uh, those basil seed drinks. Now, those basil seed drinks, I've tried a few of on the channel. I've tried a strawberry and basil seed one. Um, which I did about two, three years ago. And then I think two years ago or a year and a half ago, I did that rose uh, one, which uh, the rose one was actually by KGN. So you can go and check out that video. In those videos, I've said I'm not the biggest fan of the texture of the basil drink. So let's see what we've got in here. And I know we will have basil seed drinks in here because it says on it, fragile. And uh, the guy that I was speaking to, told me as much. Right, what have we got? Oh, there's some really interesting stuff in here straight away. Oh, wow. So we've got mini croissants filled with chocolate hazelnut. That's strange, that is the same, oh. Right, sorry, so we've got a, a big size ones and then these are mini ones. So, oh, we've got sponge cake, sponge chocolate cake filled with vanilla cream. We have got a layered cake, chocolate coated cocoa cake filled with chocolate cream. Wow, they've sent a lot. We've got almond biscuits. I bloody love almond, so that's interesting. Ah, here we go. So this is special toast, like, um, I, I can't, yeah, is that what they, I can't remember what, what they call the version of this that I've had, like cracker toast or something. I actually quite like, like them, haven't had them in years. This is very interesting. So dry cake, right? Have always seen this in places like Tesco and always wanted to try it, but ne just never picked it up. So yeah, intrigued to see what that is all about. I'll do these in, um, I'll probably do like a couple of videos, a couple of the videos highlighting specific products here, and then some of them doing like a selection of them. Mm, Nimicky biscuit, no idea what that is, it's got peanuts on, and milk on the packaging. So if that is a peanut milky biscuit, I'll be very happy. We've got sugar-free toast. That looks absolutely weird. Wow. Ovaltine biscuits, wow. Again, that sounds interesting. There you can see the reflection of the um, lighting that I've got up on the camera. Oh, wow, Horlicks biscuits. That's my jam. I guess that's going to be a lot like malted milk. Guys, there is so much in here. What is going on? Coconut biscuits. Like the almond biscuits. We have got, ooh, orange juice drink. Love the bottle on that. Cute little bottle. Oh, it's got like peel or what's it got in it? It's got something in it. Yeah, I can't see what it's got in it. Oh, with natta de coco. So like pulp of cocoa plant thing. Got another one of these. Melon, ooh, god damn. So a melon drink, again, love the bottle. I think I'm really gonna like that. Not sure how I'm gonna get on with the texture, as I somewhat suggested. And we've got a strawberry one. And then, guys, you won't believe this, we've got a box. This is an unboxing, and we've got a box inside a box. Ah, oh, and I just saw as well, that said Faluda on. That definitely said Faluda on the box to this, and Faluda, I believe, is an Indian dessert, like a milky dessert, and that's what the rose flavour basil seed drink I had was. So this is going to be them. This is probably the the biggest package I've ever received. Oh, what have we got here? Well packaged. What? That is not a thing. That's a drink. Oh my god. Cumin water. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not sure my uh, my palate's gonna get on with that one. Oh, this is what I think it is. Oh, melon. I've got a melon faluda. Melon, I won't let you down, melon. We've got an orange basil seed drink. Just look at that, guys. The seediness is so terrifying, isn't it? I mean, the range of products here is insane. Latte coffee. Is that a basil seeds? Yeah, that's got basil seeds. Or whatever it is. I thought this was just going to be a short unboxing. It's probably going to be the main chunk of this episode now. Passion fruit. Basil seed melon drink. 
Aloe vera. I can imagine what that tastes like. Pomegranate. Lychee. Oh, that's a nice pink. Got a thumbnail, MJ. Oh, wow. Have I seen this before? Pistachio flavour. Wow. Bloody love pistachio flavour things. Again, I am, I have to stress, I am nervous about the texture. Cocktail, fruit cocktail. Nice and bright. And last, but by no means least, pineapple flavoured basil seed drinks. This is all from KGN. Thank you to KGN for sending all this stuff out to us. On with the show. So last time on Quivia, I asked you if we were in Scotland, or if I was in Scotland, and I was doing like a Scottish McDonald's, what meal would I sort of invent for the for the Scottish McDonald's market? I uh, always words that effect anyway, and my winner is BD this time round. Um, there were a lot of great entries actually, it was quite hard to choose a minna. Minna? Brilliant, I just said minna. Uh, a winner, but BD said, battered and fried neeps and tatties with an iron brew mayo dipping sauce, just simple and sounds nice. Uh, Filet of fish burger with minced Scottish salmon mixed in. Uh, I'm not sure I do like the sound of this actually, but I think it just in terms of the concept, it, it's it's obviously very Scottish. And butter shortbread milkshake. That was the clencher. Um, a classic Scottish product. And a product that sounds like it would really work. To the point that, again, it makes me want to do that for the channel. Hmm, maybe I'll do that this year, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see that. But also let me know in the comments below your answer to this week's Quivia question, which is the most unlikely Oreo flavour that Mondelez would approve. So this is a UK-based question, so I don't want um, uh, most unlikely. So likely would be a brownie flavour. <laughs> or brownie, a choco brownie 2. Uh, the sequel. <laughs> Idiots, Mondelez. Whoa. <laughs> So what is the most unlikely flavour that Mondelez would approve of Oreo in the UK? Let us know in the comments below and I will choose a winner and you will be featured next episode. You come across as such a massive twat sometimes. So as you would have seen earlier in the episode, I unboxed this strawberry juice drink from KGN. Uh, I filmed it on a different day so I've had time to put this in the fridge. Let's give it a try. This is strawberry juice drink uh, with natta de coco. So it's got some sort of pulp pieces in here. Now I have reviewed some drinks with like pulp pieces in before and I'm usually not a massive fan of the actual text wow of the texture. That smells of pure strawberry candy. What's it got in it? Strawberry juice, sugar, water, um, other things. Strawberry flavouring as well, is that? Yeah, strawberry flavour. So this is like the most intensely strawberry smelling thing I think I've ever smelled. Um, I have I have glossed over the fact that the lid is absurdly cute. <laughs> Look at that. Right, let's give it a try, guys. Oh. Oh. Oh, the chunks aren't too bad, actually. The chunks, they're just like, they don't really go down. So I just had quite a big chunk that I just got in my mouth now. Not an unpleasant texture. That's better than I thought it was going to be for the texture. Yeah, you can't, I think the chunks are too, too big to swallow. Um, so they're fine. Mmm. Wow. Yeah, the chunks have got no flavour. Must be a cultural thing, because obviously there's not many sort of, well, KGN, they, I believe all their products are sort of available in like Asian markets. I think they're geared towards an Asian audience. I might be wrong in that fact. Let me know in the comments below if you know the answer to that. Um, maybe having these little bits of natta de coco, which I don't even know what that is, uh, is more of an Asian thing. But the flavour on that is absolutely the most strawberry tasting thing I've ever had. Um, it is very strong, very sweet. It's quite, um, it's a little thicker than water, but it's not as syrupy or as uh, gloopy as I was expecting it to be. It's actually very refreshing. And it's got a really nice strawberry flavour. Like I said, it tastes a lot like strawberry candy. And even though it does say that it's got strawberry flavouring in, strawberry juice is the second highest ingredient. It actually doesn't taste particularly um, artificial. It actually tastes quite natural, which again is something I'm not ex wasn't expecting. Now I have I've reviewed one other KGM product just on the channel before, and I've reviewed another KGM product from that unboxing in a separate episode, just of the channel. Um, and I'm pleasantly surprised so far. Uh, that is a really, really tasty and very sweet strawberry drink, 
packed with flavour. I'd give that a very, very high three stars. Yeah, I thought I was going to be terrified of those bits, but uh, they're actually absolutely fine. On with the show. So today in your photos, we just got one, which is from Nicky Thompson. He's a really cool guy that uh, sent us that Swedish package a few months ago. He said, Tony's Chocolonely Milk Chocolate Gluvine. Um, another hit from Dutch Chocolate Maker, Christmas edition with their super creamy and smooth high quality milk chocolate combined with mulled wine spices, uh, cloves, cinnamon, ginger. Now the interesting thing about this one, it was actually posted a few weeks ago. I don't know if I missed this one when I edited the last video. But the interesting thing about this is that Tony's has just come out in the UK. They've literally, this week, they've just launched in Selfridges. Uh, it looks like a really interesting brand, so I'm definitely going to be eager to try them. Next time I, well, either next time in, I'm in Selfridges, or hopefully they're just available more uh, more widely, more widely available. I will pick some up because uh, they look really good. If you want to have your photos featured in this section, use hashtag the Fruck Show on Instagram. Uh, follow us as well at Frockgram. And yeah, we love featuring your photos here, so please, new year, new photos, please, guys. We'd love to see those. Thank you so much for joining us on another edition of the Frock Show. We hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Cheers.